Hi everyone, welcome back to SPSS for Beginners with me, Dr. J. So in this session, we are going to look at how to conduct multiple regression to test our causal hypothesis. However, before we can do that, we need to calculate our new variables. So if you remember from our previous videos, we have conducted exploratory factor analysis and also reliability analysis. So once reliability has been confirmed, the factors need to be turned into new variables. So these new variables are the summation of the items or the mean scores of the items. So in other words, we are going to combine all of these items to represent our factor before we can run our multiple regression. So in your book, you can turn to page 62 and look at the box for the summary of the steps that we are going to conduct for calculating the new variable. Okay, so uh, please open technology use underscore one, uh, which is uh, a new data set that we are going to use. So this is the framework that we are going to test. So we are going to look into two hypotheses. So this hypothesis is a causal uh, hypothesis whereby we predict that facilitating condition has a significant positive relationship towards organizational performance and for H2 effort expectancy has a significant positive relationship towards performance. So in our previous videos, for example, t-test and correlation, we were not testing causal relationship, but in this video, we are using multiple regression to test causal relationship. Okay, so let's start with um, transforming um, our variable. So click transform and compute variable. All right. And here we can see there is a function group okay, in um, this box. But first of all, let's type in our um, factor first. So since um, we are doing a new one, a new DV, that is performance expected, I will put in performance here. Sorry, not performance expectancy, organizational performance, yeah? So we are going to do the DV first, performance, and my preference is I would like to put all capital um, letters, easy for me to find, um, the computed variable. So in the function group box, you scroll and find statistical. And in the function and special variables box, choose mean and click this arrow. Okay, and if you can see here, it is mean and then um, you have question mark, comma, question mark. Okay, so the question mark will be the items that we want to put in. So for performance, it is P1. You have to do this one by one. P1 comma, and then just delete the question. P2, and then comma, then P3. Okay, the final one, you don't have to put any comma. Uh, so you have to put comma for it to uh, be able to calculate. And it's up to you if you want to put Another way is, if you're already good at this, okay, for example, I'll just reset it, okay, and so just uh, straight away in here, okay, in the, and then um, P1, P2, if we and then just click OK and then click. Why does it have uh, the, does it show this message? Is because I already have performance calculated here. So if you are doing this for the first time, you will not find this message. I'll just click OK because I will show you how I compute performance. Okay. So now um, in the output box, you already. Uh, it will show you 
that you have compute performance, okay? And please scroll to the end of your data so you can find performance already calculated for you. And I have done um, for the rest of the uh, other factors um, just to show you how it is done and you can do it um, yourself for the other factors. Okay, so now let's run the um, multiple regression, All right? So for multiple regression, uh, in your book, you have to go to page 65. Okay, so there's an um, explanation on multiple regression. Okay, so let's look at our PowerPoint slides. Okay, we are now moving into multiple regression. So multiple regression, we uh, attempt to answer the following research question. Okay, usually we are looking into does a combination of independent variables of the predictor predict the dependent variable and how much variance in the outcome variable can be explained by the predictors? So basically, what we are going to do is we want to see whether or not these two factors predict organizational performance. And also, the second one is how much variance okay, is explained by these two towards organizational performance. Performance and we can see that once we conduct the analysis. Okay, so the steps of conducting uh, multiple regression, okay, so um, these are the assumptions that you need to do, all the normality, okay, you have to conduct that uh, beforehand, okay. So let's conduct the practice activity on page 72 and you can look at the steps in page 74. So these are the steps of performing multiple regression in SPSS. So what we're going to do is we're going to click analyze and you have regression. Okay, go to linear, All right? So we are going to use um, the factors that we already computed. So performance will be the dependent and um, independent. Okay, so in statistics, all right, so we need the R square change. So this is for our um, second uh, research question just now. Okay, and um, usually I will just um, take everything here on the side. So for plots, okay. Um, ZPRED will go to X and ZRESID -E will go to Y. Okay, so just click continue. For save, um, yeah, you can tick if you want to look at other things. Okay, we just leave it like that. For options, okay, I'll just also leave it um, as it is and also the rest. I don't think tick anything. Okay, so now we can just click OK and let's have a look at our results. So here we can see the mean and standard deviation of each of our factors. And we have also clicked correlation and now we have the correlation table. So if you can see here, um, performance uh, with EE is 0.49, which is a mid-range um, of a correlation, um, EE with performance, okay? Um, and if you can see FC with performance and EE uh, is also a middle range with positive relationship. And what we want to look at is um, what are the variables entered? So we have two um, independent variables here and dependent will be performance. In the model summary, what we want to look at is our r square change okay and also um, this indicates that this model is significant and for each of our um, hypotheses we go to the coefficients table and we look at our significant um, levels so we can see that ee has a significant um, relationship with performance and fc is not significant okay so you can double check uh, with the previous videos how to uh, read the significance or the p-value 
So how do we write this um, analysis? Okay, so we can see that um, using multiple regression, the overall model was significant and uh, it only accounted for 24.4% variance with uh, effort expectancy as the strongest predictor and facilitating condition did not make uh, the independent contribution because it was not accepted, accepted as a hypothesis. Okay, so um, that's all for multiple regression. All the best in conducting your own analysis for your research. So see you uh, and take care.